Welcome to Scratch School episode 1.0. This is making a knock-knock joke in Scratch. And this also assumes that you already did lesson 0.0, .0 which was getting yourself signed in or signed up for Scratch and signed in. So as you can see up here, Timmy is all signed in. He had to use his school ID. And then remember that password is birthday followed by the last four digits of school ID so that we can have an eight-digit passcode because it won't let us do a four-digit digit one. Okay, so you're here, you're on the Scratch landing page, and we want to set up our first activity. And what that means is we're going to hit create, and we are going to, well, it's going to create us a new one automatically. And this is what it looks like when you create a new project. This is called the, oh, I can't remember the names of all the different parts. I think this over here is the stage. Down here is the, is the sprite catalog. And over here, this is the programming page, something like that. And um, we are gonna, today we're gonna set up a project where we are gonna have two characters and they're gonna tell a knock-knock joke. Pretty simple little project. First thing I wanna do is give it a title. And I'm going to call it Timmy Knock Knock. And I'm going to say draft because it might take me a couple tries to finish this. And I don't want to accidentally turn in like a, an unfinished version of it. So we'll call it draft. And then when we finish it, we'll change that to finished product or something like that. Okay, so here's what you need to know. Um, this over here, this little area is what your player or the person that's trying out the game will see. This is what they will see. Um, over here, this is all behind the scenes. This is the inner workings of your activity, your game or video. And this is the stuff that people won't see unless they peek, in, peek behind the curtain. And so we want to um, do all our work over here and see the results over here. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna get rid of this little cat sprite. And every time we start a new project, this is the mascot of Scratch, this little cat. It will bring her onto the scene, and you can use her in your project, or you can get rid of her. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of her, because I want to show you how to um, come up with your own sprites. So down here is a little button. It says, choose a sprite. And then you've got four options. You've got upload a sprite if you have a picture you want to use, um, surprise, paint, and choose a sprite. I'm gonna, my first one, I'm gonna do a surprise. I'm just gonna click it and see what I get. Oh, I got an orange, okay. I'm gonna use an orange for one of my characters. And for this next one, I'm gonna choose a sprite. And if you hit that little magnifying glass, it'll bring up all these different sprites. And oh, there's so many, you can, this is all of them. You can just choose any sprite you want, any character for your story. So who would be good at telling a joke to an orange? How about a wizard toad? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, so Wizard Toad, you're gonna tell a joke to this orange. Let me move, switch sides so that Wizard Toad is facing the right way um, and orange is facing the right way. And I wanna think about this before I begin. Here's what I, here's what I know about knock-knock jokes and here's how I want to start putting my project together. One person says, well, let's have them say hi to each other first. So one person will say, or one critter will say, hello to the other sprite, and that sprite will wait and then say hello back. And then that first one will say knock knock, and then we'll say who's there, and which jokes will I do? Oh, I'll do the classic. And then they both laugh. Okay, so here's what I have to do. I have to go over to this uh, orange collection of blocks, and these are called the, oops, I'm sorry, the yellow one. These are called the events blocks. And one that you're gonna use a lot is this one here that says when flag clicked. And that's this little green flag up here. And that's basically the, it's the go button. It's the button you press when you want everything to start happening. And it's the only, only way that you're, the person playing the game will know how to start the game is by clicking that green flag. So um, on my orange, um, let's have, I'm going to do both the same the same uh, controls on both critter. They're just going to be a little bit um, offset from each other. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a when clicked. 
I think I'm going to have the frog say hello, orange say hello back, frog say knock knock. So here's how I'm going to do that. I've got my when clicked block, and I notice I'm I'm on the um, the toad. In fact, let me move the toad over here to the left so that I remember it's toad on the left, orange on the right. So here's my when clicked block, and this tells me that the moment I click the flag, it's going to do whatever is attached to this block. So the first thing I want frog to do is I want frog to say hello for two seconds. And that's kind of the default block. It just says hello and it has two seconds. And let's watch, see what happens. I'm going to click on this. Oh, okay, there you go. Frog says hello for two seconds and then it disappears. And then nothing happens because that was that's all I've, I've got going on. Now I want orange to reply hello, but if I do this same block, they're going to say hello at the same time. So what I have to do is I click on orange and I'm going to go to control and I'm going to grab this wait block. Now this block tells me that when I hit go, um, you should wait for two seconds because that's how long frog is saying hello. And I got to remember that two seconds is going to be, that's going to kind of be my standard for this whole project. Two second wait, two second talk. So then I go up to looks again and I grab hello again. And now let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. So here's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting frog to say hello for two seconds. And then it's going to switch and orange is going to say hello for two seconds. Let's try that. Hello. Hello. Hey, it worked. Perfect. It stays going. Hmm. Oh well. If I had stop, that is a way to, to um, get anything that's happening to, to stop. So like if you ever feel like things have gotten out of control, you can hit that stop button. Okay, so that's going to kind of be my pattern. We're going to switch back and forth. One's going to say something for two seconds while the other one waits, and then the other one's going to say something for two seconds while the other one waits. It's going to flip back and forth. So why don't I add, just to get things up and running, orange is always going to wait first and then speak, and frog is going to do the opposite. Frog is going to speak first and then wait, or toad, that is. So let me grab a two-second block, and that's all we're going to do for this first part of this assignment. I'm going to hit save now. It saves automatically, but if I'm going to stop my project, I want to make sure it saved the last thing I did, so I hit save now. And that's the end of 1.0 on Knock Knock Joke.